Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. I am back with another interesting question on SQL. So this question was asked by many people. In YouTube comments, I see at least 3 or 4 people were, have asked. In LinkedIn also people have messaged me to solve this question. So let's do it. So let me go through the question. So this is my input table and this is my output table. So you can imagine something like there is a system on which we are pinging and checking if it is on or off, right? So for 10, 1, we are checking on. Every minute we are checking 10, 2 on, 10, 3 on, and this is 10, 4 off, okay? You can imagine any other scenario as well. If you see from here till here, it is on and then it got off. So login time is 10, 1, we are saying, and then 10, 4, this is log off. And for how many times it was on? 3, okay? So this is the count we want in output. Similarly, again, it got on on 10, 7, 10, 8 on 10, 9, then off. So 10, 7 to 10, 9, again, log in, log out. Again, this guy logged in at 10, 11 and then logged off at 10, 12. So again, 10, 11, 10, 12, right? And count is one. Okay. So now what we have to do, if you look at carefully, what we have to do is we have to group these rows. If we can group these rows together, we can bring them to one row, right? If I can a group key one for these four rows, right? One, 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 then I can do group by on that key and I can drive login, log out and everything, right? So this is how we will approach this problem. Now, second thing to observe is then when we have to create a new group key. So whenever, if you see whenever there is an on after off, it means this is a new group starting, right? Otherwise it is always on, on, on and off, right? So whenever on is starting after off, it means we have to create a new group. Again, whenever on is starting off, we have to create a new key. I hope the approach is simple, right? Understood. So we will move on to solution. Okay. So what we are going to do, first of all, I will check with the, I will use lag function to check the previous status. Okay. So I'll just say lag lag of what status one i want to see previous row so one lag and for first row it will come null okay i will show you and then do it over order by order by event time right ascending by default it is ascending i can just put as previous status okay let me run it now so I am doing on previous uh, status, the previous row. So for this row, there is no previous row. That's why it is coming null. For this row, the previous row is on. So on. Now if you see for this row, previous row is off. So previous is off. So this is how we got the lag. Now this null I don't want. So I will just give uh, status only as a default value. When there is no previous value, you can give a default value also in lag function. So I will give... Uh, status itself so here also on will come okay so i'll just run it so if you see on is there right now we have got status and previous status now as i said previously we have to check for though where on is coming after off that's when we have to create a new group right so here we can check if status is on and previous status is off it means for those cases, create a new group key, right? I will tell you how to create group key. That is another thing. But the logic will be whenever the status is on and previous status is off. So here new group key will be created, right? Again, here new group key will be created, right? Okay. So let's move on to how to create the group key. I'll use it as a subquery or you can create a CT as well. Anything is fine. So select from this table and I need to just give alias of the alias for the inner query. Okay. So I want, let's say everything I want. Now I will use some function. I'll tell you what I'm going to do. Okay. Order by, oh, sorry, over order by same event time. Okay. So when we do a sum over order by this is we discussed in another video this is this will give me running sum right but i don't want to take just running sum it will be one two three four that will be of no use so what i'm saying i'm putting case when within sum case when 
just just carefully look at it so i am think case when status equal to on that's what we discuss right when status is on and previous status equal to off then one else zero i'll explain you what is happening here so if you see i'm saying when so let's go row by row so we are on the first row case when status is on and previous status is off then one else zero so this will be zero because previous status is not off so these two conditions should match to make it one but it will be zero right again we will go to second row here again it will be zero here again it will be zero here also it will be zero because status should be on so for all these four rows i will get zero the running sum will be zero itself right zero plus zero is zero plus zero is zero plus zero is zero okay the moment we come to this row right so it will match then i will say one so now the running sum will be one now again here zero so it will continue one and then become two i'll just run it and make it clear as group key and i'll show you the magic so if you see group key we created this is 0 0 now when here we come it becomes 1 okay and again it will continue 1 because for these row it will be 0 and running sum will remain 1 only again here it will become 1 so running sum will will become 2 and here will it will stay 2 so that way we created groups right now it is simple i can just do group by on group key and take minimum and maximum event time let's do it quickly let me create ct with uh, some random name i am giving sorry about it okay and what i need i need select from xxx group by group by group key right i want to group on group key and what i want minimum of event time as login right and maximum of event time will be log out and count one so i want only on count so there will be one off so i can just do minus one as on count i want count of on so there will be one record of off i am just doing minus 1 and let's run it and see that's it we got 101104 on count 3 107109 on count 2 111012 10, on count 1 isn't it magical i mean sequel sometimes you will see that you are doing magic and you feel very 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 i mean entertained right so try yourself uh, i will put in the description box as well the insert and um uh, create a statement if you have any other solution you see you think there is a uh, easy solution please put it i would love to check it thanks for watching like my videos and subscribe to the channel and share with your friends have a good day bye